According to our Adrian Wojnarowski, the Lakers are planning individual workouts to evaluate Dwight Howard, Joe Kim Noah, and Mo Spates. Uh, Max, let me ask you this. Will the loss of Boogie be a big deal for the Lakers? Yes, it actually is a big deal. I'll leave it to Stephen A to talk about how he's not wasn't central to their plans this season anyway, and they have plenty of talent. Top to bottom, I think the Lakers have the best roster in the NBA if you're just kind of stacking up the talent, seeing how high it reaches. But there's more to it than that, because it's not like they're in a class by themselves with talent. The Clippers, for example, are also very talented. The Clippers, for example, won 48 games last year and won two games, as I bring up all the time when this subject comes up, against the Golden State Warriors. Not the Golden State Warriors without KD or without Clay or without Steph. The fully loaded Golden State Warriors, they took them six. Yeah. And they, then they replaced Shea Gilgis-Alexander, who will one day be a very good player and is already pretty good, and Danilo Gallinari, who is a very good player, with Paul George, who was an MVP candidate last year, and Kawhi Leonard, who's the best player on earth, according to me. Stephen A., they got Doc Rivers, that team. It's a fully functional unit adding two MVP caliber players in their prime with a Hall of Fame coach and a clear chain of command for a healthy organization. It's not that the Lakers don't have what they need. is They need Boogie, if he was healthy, a year more removed from his injury, if he was back to being most of what he was, gives the Lakers so much talent maybe they could overcome the fact that they have a dysfunctional coaching situation. Yeah. A guy in a coach and a guy there to stick a knife in his back, right? I mean, Jason Kidd is there you to do. take Vogel's job. You do understand I only have 40 seconds left now. But that's now okay. you know what it feels like but to be me. Okay. No, I don't. I really don't. But I will tell you this. Uh, they have Anthony Davis. If they did not have Anthony Davis, I would not be. I would be very concerned. But the fact that they have Anthony Davis and they re-signed JaVale McGee, I think offsets the significance of a Boogie Cousins injury. That's number one. And number two, let's give credit where credit is due, as dysfunctional as they appeared. Rob Palenka has done a hell of a job, considering the circumstances, since all of that stuff went down with Magic Johnson. The Lakers look pretty good right now. I'm not worried about Boogie Cousins' loss. I really not. Not in that system. Not with LeBron and AD. But they need more than you think they need to get over the coaching situation. Boogie maybe could have put him over the top. About He's not cut. there now. Boogie Cousins is not going to offset uh, bad coaching. I don't think they have bad coaching. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.